spicy medtech here so this will be the continuation of our series on the different recalls and must knows on the different board subjects and for this video it will be for clinical chemistry let's begin number one which of the following glucose determination methods is considered to be the reference method a somogi nelson b folin wu c hexokinase or d glucose oxidase so, answer po natin dito sa number 1 ay letter C, hexokinase. So, letter A and B, Samogi, Nelson, and Follin Wu are both obsolete glucose determination methods. Letter D, glucose oxidase, is an enzymatic method which uses glucose oxidase, which is an oxidoreductase. This can be found in our urine region strip methods for glucose. While letter C, hexokinase, is the method of choice of the American Association of Clinical Chemistry. So, answer po natin ay letter C, hexokinase. Number 2. Which of the following is considered to be the most potent form of the hormone estrogen? A. Estrone B. Estradiol C. Estriol Or D. Both A and B. So, answer po natin dito sa number 2 ay letter B, estradiol. So, letter A, estrone, is considered to be a weak estrogen found in postmenopausal women. Letter C, estriol, is very hard to detect unless a woman is pregnant. So, most of a female's life, estradiol is the most common and the most potent. Cocaine is an illegal substance. Which of the following is its primary metabolite? A. Benzoylecganine B. Heroin C. THC or D. Benzene So, answer po natin dito sa number 3 ay letter A. Benzoylecganine It is important to note that while taking tests, one should be very observant. Every letter matters. So, if you notice letter B, Heroin is not a dangerous drug, but it is another spelling for a female hero. C. THC is the organic compound responsible for the psychological effects of marijuana. And D. Benzene is an organic compound that is considered to be one of the most potent carcinogens. Number 4. Creatine kinase is an enzyme and an important marker in myocardial infarction. To which enzyme category does it belong to? A. Ligases B. Hydrolases C. Oxidoreductases or D. Transferases So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 4 ay letter D. Transferases So, ang transferase ay isang category of enzymes that catalyzes the transfer of atoms and creatine kinase catalyzes the conversion of creatine and uses ATP to create phosphocreatine and adenosine diphosphate. So the answer is letter D, transferases. Number 5. Which drug is used for the management of petit mal seizures? A. Digoxin B. Valproic acid C. Theophylin or D. Ethanoic acid so, answer po natin dito sa number 5 ay letter B, valproic acid. Letter A, digoxin, is a cardiac stimulant. Letter C, theophylline, is a bronchodilator. Letter D, ethanoic acid, is just another name for acetic acid. So, letter B, valproic acid, is an anti-epileptic drug used to treat petit mal seizures or absent seizures. Number 6. Which drug is used as a chemotherapeutic drug? A. Phenobarbital B. Methotrexate C. Procainamide or D. Paracetamol So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 6 ay letter B. Methotrexate So, when we say chemotherapeutic drug, these are drugs used in chemotherapy or anti-cancer therapy. Letter A. Phenobarbital is an anti-epileptic drug. Letter C, procainamide, is used to treat cardiac arrhythmias. And letter D, 
Paracetamol is used to treat pain and fever. So letter B, methotrexate is an anti-cancer drug and it is also an immune suppressant. Number seven, which of the following analytes is severely increased in hepatic encephalopathy? A, glucose, B, urea, C, creatinine, or D, ammonia? So answer po natin dito sa number seven ay letter D, ammonia. So ammonia is a body waste product and in healthy individuals, it is converted by the liver into urea. But if the liver cannot do this, ammonia levels in the body build up and may end up in the brain through the bloodstream. That can cause hepatic coma, which is the hallmark for hepatic encephalopathy. So the answer is letter D, ammonia. Number eight, a potassium selective electrode is used to measure the amount of potassium ions in aqueous solutions. Which antibiotic is it lined with? A. Vancomycin B. Glass C. Valinomycin or D. It is not lined with an antibiotic. So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 8 ay letter C. Valinomycin. So, we're looking for an antibiotic. So, you can automatically rule out letter B. Glass. Although, glass is used in another selective electrode used to measure pH. Letter A. Vancomycin is also an antibiotic but it is not known to be in selective electrodes. Letter C, valinomycin is an antibiotic and is used in potassium selective electrodes due to its affinity to potassium ions. So the answer is letter C, valinomycin. Number 9, which of the following are associated with changes to blood glucose levels? Letter A, insulin. Letter B, Glucagon, letter C, cortisol, letter D, both A and B, or letter E, all of the above. So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 9 ay letter E, all of the above. So, letter A and B, glucagon and insulin, are produced by the islet cells of the pancreas. Insulin decreases blood glucose levels, while glucagon increases blood concentrations of glucose. Letter C, Cortisol it provides the body with glucose through gluconeogenesis in stressful situations. Number 10. The National Fire Protection Association hazard diamond consists of four colors. Which color indicates specific hazards, like acids and corrosives? Letter A, red, B, blue, C, yellow, letter D, white. So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 10 ay letter D, white. So, in the NFPA hazard diamond, letter A stands for flammability. Letter B, blue, stands for health hazards. Letter C, yellow, stands for instability hazards like electricity. Letter D, white, stands for specific hazards like acids and corrosives. So, yan lang po muna for CC. If you want a specific topic to be covered by this channel, please leave a comment down below. So, please, for now, please like and share to help your friends who are about to take the upcoming September board exams. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned and I hope you enjoyed.